Hi, I'm Scott Skirians with Lincoln Electric, and in this episode of ARC Magazine's Masterclass, I'd like to talk about purging stainless steel tubing. I've got a piece of 304L tubing here in front of me, and this is most widely used in exhaust situations. Um, but if you're going to get into any high heat situations like racing, you're going to want to bump up to 321 stainless, and the filler rod choice for that is ER347. That's a high temperature stabilized um, filler rod. So I've actually pre-tacked this tubing for time, so I've already purged this for the tack. So you want to do that. You want to make sure when you tack, you, you've got your purge in there. But I'm going to walk through purging complete so you'll know what I'm talking about. So I've already taped off the one end right here, and I'm actually going to take a tungsten and poke some holes. You can use a tungsten or you can use some filler rod. You want to punch a few little holes in here so you can get the um, oxygen and the nitrogen out of the, um, out of the tube. That's so it escapes. Now I'm going to put the purge piece that I've created created in the other end and I'm going to take some tape and I'm actually going to tape this end up. So again we're going to close this tube off completely so we make sure that there's no oxygen and nitrogen can get in and it's so we have a complete 100 percent inert gas or arg, in our case argon atmosphere. Alright so I've got my uh, pipe all set up here ready to purge. I've got this, this end taped off, I've got holes punched in as you can see. I've got my purge line in here ready to go. And I've got my dual flow regulator set up here. And I've got my purge side running at about 15 to 20 cubic feet an hour into the tubing. Because remember, you want to make sure that this pipe stays purged even while welding. So you want to have the argon flowing in it while you're welding. And you want to have it, of course, the argon gas on the outside when you're welding. So you got like dual purge. So inside to get out the oxygen and the nitrogen to stop the sugaring or stop the chromium uh, oxides from happening. And what we're going to do is we're going to weld half of this with purge and the other half without purge. Now that this is purging and I can feel the gas coming out of there, I'm going to put on my glasses, my gloves, my sleeves and my welding helmet and actually start welding it. Okay, I'm in a well ventilated area. I have my gloves on, my safety glasses, my sleeves. The pipe's been purging for several minutes here. Now I'm ready to weld. Okay, now that I've finished the weld on the purging side, I'm going to go ahead and remove the tape and the purge line and weld the non-purging side so you'll be able to see the difference between the two. Okay, I've removed all the tape and all the purging. So we're going to weld this half of the pipe without the purge. Okay, I've cut the pipe in half and you can see the outside welds, the purge and the non-purge. You can see how the non-purge and the purge welds look almost identical. But when you turn them around, you could definitely see the sugaring, the sugaring inside the non-purge, okay? So and where this causes a problem is you can see inside there where there's a line and where the weld metal just more or less comes together. It doesn't fuse that well uh, in the inside. Well, if you look at the purge side, you see it's nice and flat and tied in, so it looks exactly like the, the top portion. And in an exhaust situation, you wouldn't think that would be a problem, but it will because when this exhaust starts to vibrate, uh, it could actually start to crack. So you always want to purge it. And think about caustic situations. If you've got some type of chemical running through this, inside those, those little cracks, you can actually get caustic material in there that can start eating this weld away and ca can cause a problem. Or a food situation where some type of food grade products running through it and they've got to clean it out. There might be some food particles inside there that get stuck and they run something else through it could cause you know, some type of contamination. But again, on the purge side, you can see it's nice and flat and tied in. They can go in and they can clean this pipe and it will be nice and clean and there's no little uh, crannies or valleys there to, to get uh, anything stuck in. So again, purging is the only way to do this. Thank you for watching ARC Magazine Masterclass. I'm Scott Skirians.